How to break a bedpost in 1960. <laughs> you are a thick boned black man with little awareness of history. You do not know your place in it. Feel no trace of the reverence your grandchildren will bestow you. You are merely soul and flesh. You only breathe in air that daily wants to choke you. This is not about courage in the face of rope. This is about the growling black woman in your arms, her hungry hips, and everything your tongue has been dying to do. So, I mean, hell, it ain't like you was marching all the time. Jim Crow didn't <laughs> always feel your foot in his ass. Your favorite nights were not the bedtime prayers for the last friend that was burned. It was when you and your woman dragged yourselves to that shack where the razor voice of that singer was lusty supreme. The band dumping and time to your grip on her ass. Her nose burrows into your neck as the singer wails. You dance like one body undressing itself, seeming to say, hey baby, neither one of us is dancing from a tree. Lord, looks like we made it again. When the man finally tucks some music away, you hustle yourselves back home, ready to fuck. Not thinking that somewhere Malcolm X is doing the same thing. Not thinking that Hillary Jackson is doing the same thing. Is this in our history? But the bodies slick colliding, and in the 14 seconds it takes to remove your tattered fabric, you have already uttered your prayers. This tongue is for you, and for our sake, I hailed it all day. These arms are for you, because they chose to carry more peace than fists, and when her breath dove into your grateful face. Every pair of Caucasian eyes that stared her down today just caught fire. Their owners rose from dinner tables and screamed from the houses, but you and your woman were too busy to notice. Because both of you know there is a purpose to this. That you ain't non-violent just because of a Dr. King's speech. It's these bodies, these hips, this bonding that keeps you from killing a motherfucker somewhere. Someone's having a dream while you fuck. Someone's singing him over Come while you fuck. This is my Black History Month. This is how I roll on my holidays. This is why I smile at a black power fist. I know where those knuckles have been. <laughs> <laughs> Bodies collision, the right of every living mouth to lick. Here, you are nothing of a social studies relic. You are a starving pair of arms and a woman to grip. <laughs> <laughs>